what's up guys it's blackwing2040 and before i begin i just want to say i'm so sorry for you guys for this video being so delayed i was literally dragging this i had no idea how was I, how i was able to review this comic book because as you can see i'm trying to review the blackest night before the year ends and pretty much the year's pretty much almost pretty much somewhat over so um, we only this book as a review it right now there will be two books left before blackest night so this book is going to be green lantern the green lantern core see i'm stumbling on my words green lantern core sins of the star sapphire i had to read this book like five times for me to get together on how to explain everything properly to you guys because there's like two stories in this book one's filler is only two parts i mean yeah it was only two parts and the sense of star star sapphires part that was four parts so six issues collected in this book so of course as always i show you the cover and of course i have a green ring on representing green lantern Corps. i was gonna wear the star sapphire ring but like you know what save that for blackest night so of course let's begin with the oath and i know i'm not wearing my green lantern shirt i'm in a hurry let's do let's get this over with all right guys let's go <clears throat> in brightest day in blackest night no evil shall escape my sight let those who worship evil's might beware my power green lantern's light now let's begin our story shall we i'm gonna cut to the chase because i seem to just explain every bit of detail in these books while i'm just rambling off so i'm just gonna strictly just cut to the chase i know i bookmark certain things in this book and here's just oh my gosh brightness is too low i mean too low too high for that matter sorry about that guys let me turn that down a bit all right here we go Oh my gosh, it's too bright. Why is... Ah, uh, okay. Here. I'm so sorry for the delay, guys. Think, you know how things like this happen. I try to do this before... I try to make sure this does not happen. Huh. Here we go. Uh, seems still too bright. Oh yeah, that seems too dark. All right, this should do it. Here you guys are. This is the cover to Sins of the Star Sapphire. And let's begin, shall we? So, currently, Guy Gardner and Kyle Rayner are living, currently living on Oa since they decide to leave their home on Earth. They are deciding to currently live on Oa and still searching the universe for other Sinestro Core rings because Sinestro, of course, is currently still in prison. No, not in prison broken out of prison back on the ropes again he's searching for new recruits so the green lantern corps still main mission is to keep finding the rest of where the sinestro corps rings are going to now back on oa we have i would say the semi i would call it the cemetery of <clears throat> of the green lantern corps and we get to meet a new green lantern his name is sarik this this guy right here, this is Sarik. This is the Crypt Keeper of the Green Lantern Cemetery. So Sarik's main per well, I would say his purpose, but his main special talent or gift, he's able to communicate with the dead. But his main side effect is his ear bleeds every time he does his special power. So while that's going on, Mongol actually breaks free from his prison within the Black Mercy because, of course, that was the last time the Green Lanterns had a run-in with Mongol. So, as you can see, he escapes from the Black Mercy because, of course, you know, nothing can hold Mongol. Mongol's a complete beast. So, <clears throat> somewhere in the far distance of the galaxy, family members of the of all rookie land rookie green lanterns are being killed and i was i don't want to show this image to you guys it may seem graphic but what's happening is these family members are getting killed and their eyeballs are raining down on oa so just just i don't want to show it to you guys but just picture that in your mind i know it sounds gruesome but that is just savage just straight savage 
So Sarik was able to communicate with the dead, because, you know, hence his power. He was able to help the Green Lanterns find who this murderer across the galaxy is. It's a Sinestro Corps member named Quintet. So he has... It's a he and a she. They're siblings. So it's five, five aliens together and their siblings. And this is what they look... Whoops, I'm sorry. This is what they look like right here this is what they look like and of course Guy Gardner Guy Gardner Kilowog and Kyle Rayner capture each one of them while well, one of the quintets you know killed themselves and that was it so Sarik was able to help bring the you know the lantern killer to justice all hopes to save and then surprise surprise Sarik gets called up by the Guardians, but not all of them, just one, the Guardian Scar. Now, you guys know I said Scar plays a major role in this, and she still does. So, Scar congratulates um, Sarik on his recent mission, and Sarik um, thanks um, the Guardians for his gratitude and everything. But Scar asks him, asks him to perform a simple task, and she says, I need you to locate the corpse of the anti-monitor now we all remember what happened to the anti-monitor <laughs> the anti-monitor was destroyed back um in Sinestro Corpse War where he was thrown in space by Superboy Prime and last thing that we remember what happened to him was a huge black lantern wrapped around him somewhere in the far reaches of space so Scar wants Sarik to locate the corpse of the anti-monitor so that was just the little filler story. Now let's move on to our main story of this. So we move on to a, I would say space couple, but a, a newly married alien couple. And as they're traveling, they get attacked by none other than Mongol. So Mongol, this is, this is the crazy thing. Mongol crashes into their ship, eats all their food, and... <laughs> The husband is telling Mongol to just leave, and then Mongol looks at him, and just a simple tap on his spacesuit, the glass breaks, and he dies. And the wife's name is Miri. M-I-R-I. -I. That's how her name is spelled, Miri. So as she watches her husband dies in her arms, a glowing pink light a glowing pink light just follows straight towards her. And guess what it is? I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for delays. I just, just delays. Here we are. Okay, so like I said, a pink light um goes towards um, Miri. And what this pink light is, it's none other than a Sinet, not Sinet, whoops, wrong ring, a star sapphire ring. And what this ring does, it says, Mary, you have great love in your in your heart. And she becomes a star sapphire or violet lantern for other people to know. So now she has the power of love in the ring and she was able to connect with, she can still feel the love for her husband even in death. So while she, as soon as she gets the ring, she travels to Oa. Now back on Oa, the Guardians call for Guy Gardner, Sodom Yat, and Aresia to go on a diplomatic mission to Xamaron, which is home of the Star Sapphires. So they travel there, and let me show you guys what, um, what, um, what's the name? Xamaron. Let me show you, let me show you guys what, um, Xamaron looks like. It's a beautiful looking planet, by the way, if I may add. Right here. And, of course, they have their own central power battery. And just a fun fact for you guys, the Xamarons were kind of... They worked with the Guardians before until they broke off with the Guardians because you guys know the Guardians are stupid, emotionless, little freaks of nature. They are so heartless. So, they travel to Xamaron. They meet with the Queen, Queen Agapo. And, of course, this whole argument starts to happen on how the Xamarons are abusing their power of love how they shouldn't be using their power, and then Queen Agapo, of course, 
disputes with them saying, how dare you come to our planet and judge us on how we're using our power while you guys aren't doing nothing. But of course, Queen Agapo reminiscence of their incidents with the Manhunters and now with the Alpha Lanterns. And of course, you know, the Guardians are heartless. They don't care what happens to what they're saying. And then while they're stumbling on Xamarin, they find a couple of Sinestro Corps members wrapped around in Starheart gems. And Guy Gardner asks, what the heck are they doing? They're pretty much reforming some of the Sinestro Corps members and making them... She Okay, what they're doing is transforming those Sinestro Corps members into Star Sapphires. And Guy Gardner doesn't approve of this. The Guardians definitely don't approve of this. And then they ignore this, and then they just leave. And Queen Agapo just stares at them while they just leave. And so when they return to Oa, the Guardians decide to create another new law in, <clears throat> in the Book of Oa. So the new law was... Well, some of the new laws were <clears throat> so lethal force could be used on a um, Sinestro Corps member. Um, so le lethal force could be used on any enemy of the Green Lantern Corps. And now their next new law is there will be no relationships with anyone within the Green Lanterns, the Green Lantern Corps. So any Green Lantern Corps member that's you know in a relationship or anything, it's no longer allowed new law so that's what happened that's what guy was doing what kyle was doing kyle was with sora nick natu and other members of the green lantern corps they're hunting down a sinestro corps member named crib and she's very weird looking i tell you all right let me show you what crib looks like by the way give me just one second i feel like i should have had this up a long time ago all right here we go yeah, this should be it. Nope, nope, that's not it. Okay, but pretty much what Crib is... Sh ah, here we are. This is Crib. Creepy looking, am I right? Okay, so what Crib... What she does, she kidnaps babies of fir firstborn children of um, Green Lantern Corps members. So she kills their parents, and then she kidnaps the kids. And she has this, like, little cage thing around herself. So, and that's where she puts all the kids, and she's, I'm like, this woman is just crazy. She kidnaps these kids, and she just carries a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of them, orphan children around, and just by slaying their parents. So, Kyle, Sorenik, and other members of the Green Lantern Corps, there's a married Green Lantern Corps couple, couple with them. One of the members was pregnant, so they're expected to have chi a child. So... <clears throat> The Green Lantern Corps members fight um, Crib. They get possessed by her because she she spat out a certain protoplasm that caused them to be mind controlled by her. But of course, you know, <clears throat> the Green Lantern Corps can't break that easily. Kyle breaks free of that mind control, takes her down, and then the wife of the married couple is starting to give birth to her child. So Sora Nick Natu helps the husband deliver the baby while Kyle is fighting the Sinestro Corps member Crib. And as that happens, the baby is born, Crib is subdued, with the help of Mary, by the way. Mary shows up to help help out defeat Crib and also support the love of the married couple, the married Green Lantern Corps couple, due to their love for the baby being born. And so Crib was subdued and taken straight back to the science cells, which you know is the prison on the Green Lan on Oa. So after that, the Green Lanterns get a notification of the new law stating no relationships between Green Lantern Corps officers. So with that hap happening, the married couple now having their baby, they decide to retire. They relieve themselves from duty. And so after that, back on Oa, all the Green Lantern Corps are finding a way to send the babies to a, a new home. And while that's happening, you see a bunch of rings, a whole bunch of green rings flying back to Oa. Not because the Green Lantern Corps is dead, but a bunch of these Green Lantern officers are being relieved of duty because they don't like the way this new law is setting up. And trust me, I don't like it either. I tell you, the Guardians are really, really stubborn. So that's 
so pretty much that sums up everything. That's the end of this um story arc. I'm so sorry, guys, that I really dragged this and procrastinated with this for so long. I'm so sorry because I had no way how to put this together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I explained it in the best detail I can. And stay tuned for the next review, which is going to be Green Lantern Agent, Agent Orange. That's going to be the next story arc I'm going to review. And then after that is another Green Lantern core story arc. And that leads us into the final act, which is Blackest Night. So keep that in mind. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I'm Vengeance. I'm Darkness. I am Blackwing. Stay golden.